In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect an open round so that it can start spiraling up. And in this case, I'm going to use Corgan stitch. So I'm going to go under two, over two, and under the cross is the base stitch that I'm doing. And then what differentiates this from Maman or Moosin is its connection stitch of just an F1. But to get in the round, I'm going to follow this down my thumb, physically down my thumb and across. And I wanna make sure that when I'm forming this loop that I keep this roped edge evenly across the top. I don't want it to twist. I don't want to be seeing other parts. I want this nice, even roped edge across the top. And you get that by physically holding it flat and following it all the way down. I'm gonna fold it up and double check that I have my roped edge all the way around the top. Now cork and stitch does an F1. And the way that I started this particular variant, um, I started with my tail on the other side. So this first loop is, is kind of out of rope shape. And I can skip that or I can connect it. If I connect it, no one will ever really notice that it was out of place. So I go up piercing the front and going through one loop. That's an F1 connection because I'm coming from the front going towards the back and I'm connecting one loop. And I touch the tip of my thumb, slide out through my two loops, over my two loops, under the cross, pinch, drop, and pull. Don't wanna catch my tail in there. And then I'm going to take the next loop off the edge here. So another F1, so this is Corgan. So I'm taking F1 from the front through the back just by grabbing the next loop in the, in the rope along the top edge, touch tip my thumb, slide out through the two loops, over the two loops, under the cross, pinch, drop, and pull. And I just continue that by grabbing the next F1 in the row. So the next loop off the top of the edge here, touch tip my thumb, slide out through my two loops, over, under the cross. If I want to increase, I just go through the same F1 stitch again, or I can go through the F2, which is the new one, but also the old one. And then when I do my next one, I would do just this new one that I had used this time. So I end up with three stitches in the space of two. Or if I want to decrease, I just grab the two new ones and pull that in. But if I don't do any increases or decreases, I will get a cylinder that is exactly this size. So hopefully that helped you and we can talk about what else you need. Just give me a ring and we'll find out.